Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back uh, refilming a video because my hair was going bam all over the place and it looked really weird. It looked sort of crazy-ish kind of thing going on. So we're back again to try the video one more time. And um, just to go over what I have on here, I did go ahead and use... Um, well, this is the Pistachio by Tower 28, and so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of that on, and we'll get back to it here. So again, this is the Pistachio uh, Lip Gloss, and I do have the Cherry Up Lip Stain on as well, and so yeah, here it is. So. That's what I got on the lips today. And I did go ahead and actually tight line today. And I very rarely tight line, especially my lower. Um, I usually just go ahead and do a regular um, eyeliner effect on it with a gel eyeliner. And I just use them around the bottom. But this whole palette just got me thinking in ways that I usually don't think. So let's go ahead and get started. I started with the Glow Oil by Super Goop with the SPF 50 as my primer. And then the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. And this one is in 55 Neutral. So it's a light color. And that's what I have on as far as my base. Did go ahead and grab the Incognito by Wet n Wild. Um, this is a nice full coverage um, concealer for the under eyes. And when you're working with grays and blacks, a lot of the time, or at least with me, I spend a lot of time cleaning up after I've done the eye look. And this is a good one for going ahead and doing that. Has enough coverage that it actually gives you um, it cleans up all the extra uh, black and gray that's hanging around on the outside of your eyes and everything. So I'm really liking this one. And then as far as what I did on the cheeks for the bronzer, I used my favorite, the MAC, uh, the Light Radiant Rosy. And so that's what I have on there. And then I did find a new ColourPop combo that I'm liking a lot for um, going ahead and doing cheeks. And actually, it's more like a triple threat. So I started with the Sunset Strip, and this is their cream blush that you can get on their website. Then I went ahead and added the Just Cruisin', and this is a powder, so I went ahead and put this over the top. And so the Just Cruising, you can get at Ulta or Target or the website. Uh, with the Sunset Strip, the cream ones, they're still only available on the ColourPop uh, website right now. But these two, uh, they went ahead and they did really well as far as blending together. And I use the ColourPop um, Out of Quartz as far as my uh, highlighter today. So yeah, I think all of these are a really good triple threat together and they work really well together. And then uh, as far as the eyes today, I did go ahead and use the Naughty List. And so this is one of the ColourPop uh, gift packages that comes all packaged, ready to go ahead and be sent out. And so it has a black eyeliner on it, or in it. And um, the name of the palette is Out All Night. And the name of the gift set is Naughty List. And these are available over at Target. They're part of the Rudolph collection. And so I did go ahead and do a look with this. And I started with the, um, the light gray. I went ahead and used that in the crease. Then um, I, on the outer corner, I deepened up with the uh, mid gray. Um, I did go ahead and use this light white on the inside corner. And then this, um, excuse me, this gray on the lid itself. And then I realized that as far as gray, gray scale palettes, this isn't my favorite. And um, if you have never tried a grayscale palette and you want to try one, I would definitely go ahead and recommend this. But if you actually want to do some grayscale looks during the holiday season, I would suggest getting the Blow and Smoke. This has nine eyeshadows. 
and it also has the iconic ColourPop gray in it, which I think they're going to be remembered for. Uh, you can find this gray in the Blow in Smoke palette, and I did go ahead and use some. And it's just one of those colors that takes your look from okay to bam, like that. And that's all I added into it. And it's gray that has a lot of baby blue and a ton of sparkle in it. And you can find it in other ColourPop palettes other than Blow and Smoke. Um, I know that the Aurora Struck palette has the same shade in it. And it's just one of those shades that will take your look from a 5 to a 10. And all you have to do is just add it in. So again, um, you can find this gray in a couple of color pop palettes. Um, like I said, Aurora Struck is one of my favorites. It's in Stone Cold Fox as well. And I think it's in Rock Candy as well. But um, yeah, I went ahead and did the look here. It looked fine and then I went ahead and added the blow and smoke the gray color and it just bumped it up from a 5 to a 10 and this is how it kind of worked out and like I said I did go ahead and tight line on the bottom of um, so I did tight lining inside um, and then I also put the black along the bottom of the uh, lid as well and so for me this is a lot of liner to have on, but I think it kind of worked. And then I started off with the Oma, the Sharon C on the brow. And since this is such a strong look, um, I did go ahead and add in the Essence Make Me Brow. And that actually brought it up to a dark brown rather than this, which is pretty much a light brown. And so this is the Make Me Brow. Um, by Essence. If you want to go ahead and get a darker color, um, I would suggest trying out these first because these are only like four dollars a piece. But if you're wanting to go ahead and see what different colors look like as far as brow products, they have a good range and they have fibers in them and they're just a fun range to play with. So uh, this way that the look turned out. I think it turned out kind of fun. Uh, I did go ahead and keep everything higher as far as my cheeks go. So um, yeah, even my blush is going up into my <laughs> it's going up into my under eyes. So I kind of feel like my cheeks are going up to my eyebrows, but that's okay. Because, you know, if you're going out for the holidays and, you know, you have a party or you have a dinner or whatever, you want to look, you know, like you're doing well. And I think this look does that. And um, it does take my cheekbones way up there. So, yeah, they're way up there today. But I think it's a fun look. And I am so happy that my hair is now not going that way and that way and that way and that way because it was a little bit crazy when I was trying to edit it. So it's a um, video that didn't work at the beginning, but I think it's working now and I hope that y'all enjoy it. Um, like I said, this is not a bad product, but if you want the wow factor, I would go for Blow and Smoke. And I actually recommend Blow and Smoke over um, the Natasha Denona palette, which I um, it just has too much grayscale for me. Uh, the Glam Light palette, again, I thought was just too much uh, gray and light in there. Um, but both of these palettes, I think, would do you well over the holidays. It's a look that I don't think any of us were really thinking was going to take off during the holiday season. But it's a very sparkly, very kind of sophisticated kind of look and uh, very different, very fun to wear during the holidays. So uh, that's my thoughts and I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later and you have um, a great holiday. Bye.